Example 3. Please use the numbers in this set, so here's the set, to check the two expressions for equivalency. I'm trying to show you what it might look like on the EOG when they give you a set of numbers to plug in for the variable. So what this is saying is that they want us to plug in 41 for the variable f, or we could plug in 50 for the variable f. And we're trying to figure out if this expression is equivalent to this expression. So we're really just focused on the right side of these two equations. And I will tell you that this is the equation for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. And basically this problem is set up so that we are figuring out if this is another way that you could write the equation for converting Fahrenheit to Celsius. And we're going to figure that out by seeing if the two expressions are equivalent. So we're going to start by plugging in what they ask us to plug in first, which is the 41 for the variable f. So I'm going to go ahead and write 5 ninths. And then I'm going to replace f, so I'll take f away, and I'll plug in the 41. So I'm replacing f with 41. And then I'll go ahead and subtract. Let's see what 41 minus 32 is equal to. So I borrow from the 4 and make it a 3, and then add 10 to 1, making it 11. 11 minus 2 is 9, 3 minus 3 is 0. So inside the parentheses, we end up with 9. So we've got with the parentheses. And now we're going to move on to the multiplication. When you're multiplying an integer by a fraction, what I want you to do is change the integer to a fraction by placing it over 1. Now we just multiply the numerators. 5 times 9 is 45. And then we multiply the denominators. 9 times 1 is 9. And then 45 divided by 9 is equal to 5. Let's look at this expression. So we are replacing the variable with 41. So instead of f, I plug in 41. That's called substitution when you replace the variable with a number. We already figured out that 41 minus 32 is 9. So I can plug in 9 here. And then I multiply 5 times 9 and I get 45. And then 45 divided by 9 is 5. So it looks like the two expressions are equivalent. But remember, we're working on checking two different numbers to really confirm that they are equivalent. We want to try plugging in two different numbers for the variable. So now I'm going to try plugging in 50. So I take the 5 ninths and I multiply it by 50 minus 32. Let's go ahead and subtract 50 minus 32. And I get 18. And then I multiply 5 ninths by 18. Remember, to multiply 5 ninths by 18, you place 18 over 1. So you can make any integer into a fraction by placing it over 1. Then I multiply 18 by 5. 8 times 5 is 40. 1 times 5 is 5 plus 4 is 9. So that would be 90 in the numerator and 9 in the denominator. 90, to 9, 90 divided by, by 9 is 10. So I didn't talk about this, I should talk about this before, but what this is saying is that 50 degrees Fahrenheit is 10 degrees Celsius. So 50 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. Okay, over here I'm going to replace F with 50. We already figured out that 50 minus 32 is equal to 18. And we also already multiplied 18 times 5, and we got 90. And 90 divided by 9 is 10. So 50 degrees Fahrenheit is equal to 10 degrees Celsius. And we got the same number. We got 10 when we plugged in 50 for F. And we got the same number when we plugged in 41 for F earlier. We got 5 for um, the degree Celsius. So we have proven that these two expressions are equivalent because we not only plugged in one number for the variable f, we actually checked two different numbers, and both times 
the expression came out, both expressions came out with the same answer.